Ngayon naman, aaralin naman natin kung paano i-graph ang mga linear inequalities. Dito sa board, makikita nyo yung mga examples ng uh, graphing ng mga simple linear inequalities tulad ng x greater than 5, x less than 5, x greater than or equal to 5, at x less than or equal to 5. Now, mapapansin nyo dun sa mga graphs natin, yung graph ng x greater than 5, nandito yung number line nyo, Nandito sa middle yung 0, tapos yung 5 nandito sa gawing kanan. Sa pag-graph ng x greater than 5, kailangan nyo lang gumawa ng open circle o yung bilog na walang shade, tapos isi-shade nyo yung part na going to the right. Kasi ang yung arrow, tatandaan nyo kung yung arrow papunta dito sa ka kanan, yung shaded region nyo will be going to the right. Kaya yung pag-graph ng x, Greater than 5 is as simple as drawing an open circle and graphing it towards the right. So ito yung graph or simple graph ng x greater than 5. Kung x less than 5 naman, open circle ulit, tapos nandito ka sa 5 or positive 5, pero yung inyong shaded region ay eh, papunta naman ngayon sa kaliwa. Kasi tatnaan nyo ulit kung ang pointed arrow ay nandun papunta sa kaliwa, yung shaded region nyo is papunta rin sa kaliwa. Now, ano ang kaibahan nung greater than 5 at less than 5 sa greater than or equal to 5 at less than or equal to 5? Ang pinaka-importanting difference na kailangan yung i-incorporate kapag ka nag-graph kayo ng linear inequalities, kapag ka x greater than or equal to 5 na yung i-graph nyo, magkakaroon ka ngayon ng bilog pero ngayon, isi-shade nyo na yung circle. So, kailangan shaded circle na ngayon yung, yung um, 5 nyo kasi greater than or equal na yung symbol na ginagamit. And going to the right pa rin kasi yung pointed arrow nyo is going to the right at syempre greater than symbol. Kaya dito papunta yung shaded region nyo. And then for number 4, x less than or equal to 5, since less than or equal to siya, kailangan yung inyong bilog is shaded tapos moving towards the left. So, ganyan lang kasimpleng pag-graph ng linear inequalities. Now, yung sa mga susunod na example naman natin, mag kailangan naman natin isolve yung linear inequalities and then kailangan natin siyang i-graph afterwards. Ngayon naman, yung sa example number 1, meron tayong 2x plus 3 greater than 9. Tulad ng mga nauna kong examples dun sa previous lesson, sa pag-solve ng 2x plus 3 greater than 9, it's similar to solving linear equation. So, to get x by itself, kailangan natin tanggalin si 3. So, you need to subtract 3 on both sides, leaving you with 2x greater than 6. Since yung x nyo ay meron pang 2, you divide both sides by 2, and it will give you x greater than Three. At yung x greater than 3, kailangan natin siyang i-graph kasi according to the problem, kailangan natin siyang isolve and i-graph. At ang graph ng x greater than 3, ito yung inyong number line, sa gitna yung 0, then yung positive 3, since greater than yung symbol nyo, meron ka ngayong open circle going to the right. So ito yung solution at ito naman yung graph nung problem number 1. So sa problem number 2, meron kang 5 minus 2x greater than or equal to negative 21. Now, to solve for x, you need to get rid of 5 first and then divide both sides by negative 2 afterwards. So, if you d subtract negative 5 on both sides, meron kang negative 2x greater than or equal to negative 26. Now, to get rid of negative 2, you divide both sides by negative 2, leaving you with x less than or equal to 13. Now, tandaan nyo na kapag nag-divide kayo ng negative on both sides of your inequality, kailangan nyo i-switch yung inequality symbol. So, from greater than or equal to, yung inequality symbol nyo ngayon is less than or equal to na. So, ang graph ng x less than or equal to 13 is given by this graph. So, yung circle nyo, shaded circle kasi, meron kang great, um, less than or equal to symbol doon sa inequality nyo. Sa example 3 naman, meron tayong 2 minus 3z greater than or equal to 7 times 8 minus 2z plus 12. Now, kailangan nyo ng multi-step inequality or solution sa pag-solve nung inequality nyo. So, andito yung mga steps. Sa unang step natin, kailangan natin i-distribute yung 7. So, gagamitan natin ng distributive property yung 7 parenthesis 8 minus 2z and mumultiply nyo sa 7 sa 8. Kaya meron kang 56. 7 times 2, you'll have 
negative 14z. Now, from this step, you need to combine like terms naman. And to combine like terms dun sa gawing kaliwa, wala kang pwedeng i-combine. Pero dun sa kanan na, na inequality side nyo, 56 and 12 can go together. And 56 plus 12 is equal to 68. Now, to solve for x, you need to have z on the other side of your inequality. Kaya ang gagawin natin is to subtract 2 on this side, so you have minus 2, minus 2, so that 3z is by itself. So you'll have negative 3z greater than or equal to negative 14z plus 66. Now, mapapansin nyo na tinanggal ko si 2 kasi kailangan ko yung z dito sa side ng inequality na to at yung mga numbers naman ay nandun sa gawing kanan. So now that I have negative 3z greater than or equal to negative 14z plus 66, kailangan ko namang ilipat si negative 14z by adding 14z on both sides. So I'll have 11z greater than or equal to 66. Now to get rid of 11, divide both sides by 11 and z is greater than 6. At ito yung graph nung z greater than or equal to 6. Yung circle nyo is shaded and then yung inyong shaded area will be going to the right.